Alrighty, so they're currently just discussing whether or not they should use bots, because apparently if you start a lobby without a full party, there is a UI bug where you can't see anything, and that obviously makes it very hard to play. So we'll be jumping into the game as soon as possible. Likely solution is they're just going to add... Yep, we've just uh, received instructions. Put in easy bots so bug doesn't happen. Sounds good. So that means we have easy bots, and that means we should be ready to head into our game. Now I've got bots none. That is incorrect. Easy bots team. Easy bots. There we go. Alrighty. And the game is being searched, and we are going to be jumping into it, ladies and gentlemen. We are in round three, group number two, as we are heading in to our next game. Let's jump over. Hello, game. Oh, because I, re I closed it. There we go. Alrighty. Starting off with an axe. My sound is back. Okay, there we go. Settings. Did my music go away? No, it's back. It just hasn't started yet. Alrighty, so ladies and gentlemen, we are underway with our third game of the day, round number three. We are starting off at the top here. We have Tezur. He is starting off with the tiny Twisty. He died. He didn't play a unit in time. <laughs> he did buy the Blood Seeker at the end, though. It doesn't matter if you don't buy the unit, though, so it's fine. We have Poshiesni. He's bringing out the he's bringing out the Bounty Hunter. Dighted has the axe. Kurzenski brings out the Bounty Hunter as well. Sobaka with another axe. Freezer with the Bat Rider. And we have Tyrol Bot. He is running the Drow Ranger. This is a bot. This is purely to prevent a UI bug, but we are underway with our third round of the day. If you want to see the bracket, everyone, exclamation mark bracket in the chat, and you'll be able to get full view of that. But we are underway. Let's do this. Let's have a look at what everyone started out with. We've already got three embarrassment of riches. We got a blight stone on this bat rider, a blight stone on an anti mage for freezer, and we have a brooch of the martyr. Brooch of the martyr here. Looking good so far. And some glee and some greaves of oh, hate some gloves of haste. Alrighty. Everyone cleaning up so far. Taser running this double tiny composition. Some assassins being started off for Twisty. Boshiesni bringing out the the savages early on, similar to what he did in the first game we casted of him. Dighted. It's just sitting with a nice simple setup at this point. He's also able to pick up another brooch. Kazensky. A Blink Dagger Tusk here. Also going with some Savage value. Let's go for a quick stop. Yo. Twisty got a level 2 Bounty Hunter and a level 2 Tiny. Already on the board. That's Taser with the level 2 Tiny. He's actually buy something to fill it out. Gets a Chaos Knight very quickly. Mm, twisty though. With that level 2. Did I ever learn to play Dota? Nope. We see the f effect coming in here with a double Blood Seeker. But the Bounty Hunter is going to be able to clean everything up. Just by the sheer benefit of being level 2. We'll be able to clean up basically with one other unit's help here. But he's fine. He's able to take that down pretty quickly. Looking good so far. So we're looking good overall. We got a fall from Grace. Which is why Twisty is picking up some of these Blood Seekers. Already moving into a little bit more human. As we can see, a Summoning Stone picked up for Sobeka. Let's see where they go with that. Right now, they're going very tanky. He doesn't have any Primordials to gain bonuses from the uh, to gain bonuses from the Arc Warden, and he currently has no Warlocks or the or of course the Druids yet. But there's a chance. Just bought everything. Sobeka just b spends all his money and picks up a Druid and some Necromancers. Not Necromancers, some Warlocks. Looking good. We're about to head into our first play around. Let's start with the bots and just see what happens. I did try to I did basically learn a little bit of Dota, but I never really played a match against people, and most of my lore knowledge comes from Dota 2 Reporter. So then, it's gonna be Tezur versus Tyrol Bot here, and yeah, the bot is gonna get absolutely stomped. Massively whapped. Level two tiny. Very mixed match of things here, but damage is damage, value is value. Able to take that down. Boshiesny able to take down Twist D. Freezer just able to beat Kurzenski at the start here. And we're just about to see. Yeah, that's going to be a victory for Sobaka over Dighted. And that's the end of our first round. Very close rounds so far to start off with. Exactly what we want to see. Nice little close stuff. 99, 97, 97. Rip bot. Who cares? Bot is taken down. Dieter brings out the Bat Rider. Level 2 very early. No space to put it. Just Dieter spending money very fast in this game. 
Really just trying to get stuff on the... Really just trying to make some really good stuff very early. Going to bring out the Enchantress and the Batrider. He's level 4, so he's going to have to take something back. It's going to be the Pudge. Blightstone onto the Batrider. Yep, sounds good. They're going to face the bot. We don't care. Let's stick with the two, two 100 pointers here with Twist D versus Taser. Going to fight it in. He's managed to pick himself up. A, uh, a Timber Saw here. They're going to burn through the Tiny. The Tiny's tanking very heavily, though. Chaos Knight's not able to hold the line. And Timber Saw is going to get one more spin off. That will kill off the Bat Rider and the Tiny. But the health regen they have is not going to be enough to take down everything else. So we do see Tusk and Chaos Knight able to take that down. Uh, Kung Pung, yes, your group isn't full. Is it easy bots we choose? Yes. If you're having issues, then once again, you should message the support team. I am just the caster. If not, then you can join the Discord, which is on the info page. There are admins in there who will be able to help you, Kung Pung. Best of luck, friend. Level 2 Anti-Mages and a Venomancer already. Kurzensky, we already mentioned bringing out a little bit of Savage and he... Already has a brute of the aggressor here. Can't really knock anyone on the board. There we go. Comes out. He's got some brawnies, but he's not mixing them. He's got the beastmaster. I wouldn't be surprised. I would. You want the savage level twos? A level up would definitely be really good for Kazensky right now because you really want to get those brawnies on the board very early. If you can get them on the board early, they start picking up kills, which means that they're going to be very effective. But yes, it is easy bots. Anti mage burns through here. That. Oh, killed off, which might mean the Enchantress could get one more heal off if they're not careful. Not going to be needed, because Poshiesti is going to destroy Kazetsky here. Really making the most of those summons. Who had the summoning stone? Sobaka, who currently just has a Venomancer. And does have an Enchantress in the hand, but no actual summons yet. Except for that Venomancer. More potential in the future, though, than anything else. Currently, is on a win streak, though. Doing a very good job here with that Savage Tank Brawny buff. we got two 100s left, two undefeated streaks. The bot is, unsurprisingly, in last place. That's exactly what we want. Alrighty. All right. Let's get this going. Shots coming out here. Tusk able to tank through against the bot. Kazensky holds himself together. Sobaka fighting Twist D. It's actually quite a close one here, but you can really see that value of keeping those brawnies alive. Currently up to five kills already on this Beastmaster. Axe already on four. It's going to stack up a lot of health if they're able to keep this going. And Sobaka, now the only undefeated member in this game. Today is your lucky day. Yeah, bot, you got to skip the first three rounds. First two rounds. Good for you. You made it all the way to the semis. I wonder if the bot is allowed to... I assume the bot's going to be ignored if it wins. Oh my god, if the bot wins. It's not going to win. Its composition currently consists of level one bullshit from everywhere. <laughs> it's not very good. Sobaka, bringing out some nice savage bonuses here. Going to be fighting Poshiesny, who is running Savage Druids currently. Someone outside just yoed me from like three floors up. Fair enough. We can see currently Slardar going to be taken out. And the Savage Druids are about to destroy Sobaka. And the undefeated streak is ended. Poshiesny's comp, very scary already here. You can see the damage that that Tusk can do. Venomance of those two Savage bonuses. And of course, that's a state that the level 2 tree and protector from that druid bonus can do is very effective, keeping everyone alive. The bot is level 7. Okay, the bot is very far ahead of everyone. Axe comes out, level 2 for Poshiesny. Just an extra tanky boy at the moment. He doesn't have any brawny bonuses, but he is uh, getting close to that warrior, that warrior combo. Not there yet, though. Gonna be jumping underway. We're gonna be fighting Kazensky here. Kazensky currently a little bit further down on the board, but still has the potential here. He's got two two Venomancers here. Gonna be trying to get those summons, get that damage. It's summoning the plague wards, but it's not enough. Just too much sustain from those druids. 
Roshi Esni's comp, very, very effective at this early stage of the game, doing a really good job here. Freezer is going to be able to take down Sobika. Sobika doing so well at the start of this series, but suddenly beginning to drop down the board. It's dropped from first all the way down to third. And Frieza, his composition, very knight heavy, beginning to surface. And we learned from Zeki last game. And obviously, knight's biggest weakness, true damage. This can come from two sources. This could be the Terra Blade later on. And of course, the uh, it can come from just the Demon Hunter bonus in general. But it can also come from Enigma. Currently, Enigma, very unlikely to be a threat early on. And no one is going for the Terra Blade Demon Hunter combo. Only person who really could is Kurzenski, who's picked up the Anti-Mage very early on. Mercenary round can be picked up as the neutrals will be focused down. Lots of extra tankiness there. But they are tanking quite aggressively. You can see the boots activating for the mana and they will clean it up. Does the, can the bot do it? Nope. <laughs> Actually, uh, healing from Enchantress should allow her to... Oh, nope, she's dead. <laughs> Fair enough. Never mind. Gets taken out. Sobika took you down. One HP. Oh, my bad. My mistake. Either way, Sobika has lost the winning streak, so Ripperoni. Taser also hovering around Kozenski. Bringing out those double Venomancers. Feels good. One of them with a Brooch of the Aggressor. Feels good. Hey, Shaman, uh, not Shaman, Warlock value coming in here. Bringing out the cask. Blink Dagger Cask. That's toxic. I like that. That could be really good. I love it. Freezer's now moved to level 6. What's Freezer getting extra on that board for that level 6? Currently just has a single demon troll bonus. Pretty sure it was just the Witch Doctor. Gonna be fighting Taser. <coughs> Excuse me. Gonna be doing battle in the front line. Quick flings coming in here from the Lunar, doing some reasonable damage, but it's still only level one for the moment. Chaos Knight using that br using that helm of the Undying, but not enough to keep it alive. And that's going to be a lot of damage coming out from Taser here. Let's have a quick look at Taser, seeing where that is coming from, where that victory came from. We're going to have a quick look at the damage for starters. Doom really doing some good work here. The quick blink in to get that Doom to disable those spells really is an insane play. Trion Protector as well, making the most of its damage here. Blade Mail, keep that Trion alive. Did a monumental amount of damage to his enemies here, everyone who attacked him. Everyone else, they held their weight, did a very good job here. The items, the Blink Daggers we already mentioned, the Root of the Martyr, getting some serious value, some serious tosses. And yeah, Taser able to get a very reasonable fight against Frieza there. Kazenski and Frieza both sitting near the bottom here. Pozhiesny sitting at the top, currently up to 30 gold. So ecoing very effectively. Let's see if he has better luck against Taser, actually. Is this the matchup we do end up seeing? Those two will begin doing battle. The Lycan needs room to transform. Gets the room, but it's still going to lose Main Wolf. Main Wolf goes down, as does Enchantress very early, because once again, Doom in the back line. Doom's the, Doom's the Venomancer. That's going to prevent all summons. Very bad news. Doom does... Try to teleport away. Gets completely surrounded instead, though. Focus down. Venomancer goes down, but so does everyone else. And Poshiesny will take a victory there. Slightly better composition against this teleporting Doom comp. Kozenski and Freezer. Kozenski able to take down Freezer. Doing a decent job here. Sobika still only has this one Venomancer with this summoning stone. Feels bad. Really seems to be having trouble right now as Axe is his main damage dealer. Not going as well as I'm sure he would have hoped. Boshiesny is on fire. Seven win streak. Three for Twist D. So we'll watch Twist D next. See how he's doing. We haven't watched him too much. He's got a Chaos Knight level two. Getting some really serious damage output with that. Same with the Bounty Hunter. Double Bounty Hunter, in fact. Seems to be going for a little bit of eco here with 51 gold out. It's going to allow him to use it. Some of it. Just get these bu duplicates and try and go into the late game summons. Omni Knight's just going to get bodied. Dighted looks like he might take him down unless we get really lucky with these bounty hunters, but no, these bounty hunters cannot hold. Bounty hunters will get taken out. Let's see what he's got in the shop. Nothing really that important for now. Poshiesny completed their win streak, but we do have, unfortunately, Twist D losing their win streak to Dighted. Getting, a getting taken out there. The bot, of course, died. 
Kozanski was able to take down Taser as well. Taser doing so well early on, suddenly starting to lose quite a few rounds in a row here. Feels bad team. Enchantress on the board. Lots of stuff being purchased here. We're in Kozanski's shop right now. Let's see if he re-rolls. It looks like he's just going to stick at the 41 gold mark. Roger Esni also hovering around 31 for the moment, composition-wise. Is definitely going for some lovely druid. He's got now a double heartless bonus. He's got savage druids with some warlocks for extra summons as well. If he gets a summoning stone, he's going to have a very good day. Now fighting Kurzensky is a teleported anti-mage. Comes into the back line. Big plays right now onto this enchantress and will actually deny all that mana. But like in... With the aggro swap, extra damage from that Savage, they're able to take down the Anti-Mage before it gets any serious value out. They're able to hold the line. Bot's still dying. Not surprising there. Dite is on a three-round win streak. We'll watch Dite then next, shall we? Where are you, Dite? There you are. Took down Freezer. 87 health right now. Dite in second place in terms of health. Got that Venomancer, or he apparently he has a Venomancer. What? Hmm. Something doesn't appear to be right there. Either way, we can see. Let's just quickly swap that round to make that look a hopefully a little bit better. There we go. That's more like it. Like in level two is a sniper on the board. Currently sniper in the front line because very sensibly he has realized it is the dog and pony show. So he wants to prevent himself getting backlined. That's why both his front lines are quite far back. His big squishy or tiny squishy sniper boy in the front line, hopefully as far away from the dogs as possible, and very effectively denies all value on those dogs. However, Pudge is getting absolutely bodied here. Pudge goes down. Sniper now taking a little bit of aggro, but this positioning from the Drow Ranger, attack speed on all of these lads, that will burn through that very effectively. Dighted holds the line for the moment. Yo, Yo the bot. Uh, <laughs> there's the fireworks. Look at that as well. He empties his hand to fill out some stuff, see if he can get some dupes. See if he can get some up some upgrades. And then he can maybe sell anything he doesn't want. What does he want the least out of the stuff that he just played? Because he obviously he of course does not have enough of these three. This was literally just to clear his hand to see if he could get some stuff. Does he spam for the level up actually? This could be what happens. He's got ten seconds to decide. Ten seconds to make the decision. He's got to clear out some of these, or he's just going to end up getting completely full. Round 16. Time's up. What happens when you do... Oh, I see. No, you're fine. Level 7 on the board. He's a couple seconds left. He's going to sell... He's just going to sell some of these out. Hodge's body appears to be slightly broken here, but oh well. Hold it together. Timer running down. He's sold out the board. Not going to get any of those accidental swaps. Doesn't want to risk it. Twist D. Coming in. 1 0 currently in favor of Dighted. Let's see if Dighted can continue this win streak. Because right now, Sniper just gets absolutely destroyed. Sniper goes down before he even gets the snipe off. We can do see, though, that currently Lycan is doing some insane damage numbers. That's not enough. Going to be taken out. Pudge does some really, really good work. But those double bounty hunters. From Twisty. Just too much. And that is going to be a good kill onto Dighted, ending the win streak. Dighted win streak is gone. Everyone's win streak is gone. There is a loss streak, though, for Sobaka. An 11 loss streak for the pot. <laughs> RG hates you. Mm, yeah, that's, that's it. That's got to be it. That's why you're losing. It's not that you're a bot designed to fail. Beastmaster coming out for t for pretty much everyone. So we can finally get an enchantress on the board. Do you have summons yet? Do you have some summons? We have a, d a Dawning of Ristol. That's smart. Druids, druids, druids. Warlocks, warlocks. Remove that healing. Picking that up this early for Dighted is a really big deal. I'm very happy with that. He's now going to be fighting Kazensky. Let's see if we can keep that up. See anti See a Ranger. Doing some really good work here. Holding it together, though. Sniper, third time's the charm. Actually gets the snipe, finally. And yeah, he holds it together. Really denying 50% of that Warlock healing bonus is a super big deal. The bot is dead. See you later, nerd. Bot's down. Next lowest currently. Twisty is a nice amount of health. 
Well, she has me still sitting at 97% right now. Three game win streak, 11 and one currently for Potiesny. Hot. Looking really good. Hot. Kazensky and Freeze are looking a little low right now, maybe struggling a little bit, but there's a Terra Blade. He knows that there are some knights on the board in the form of Twist D and Freezer. So picking these out, sneaking in a Terra Blade and an anti mage of his own. Suddenly puts him in a much better position to take him down, and we'll see how well it works. He's going to fight Freezer right now. Let's see if that true damage really comes into play here as he begins fighting these knights. It's only level one Terra Blade for the moment, but the Anti Mage also doing a fair amount of damage here. Terra Blade will be able to get his transformation off before he gets finished off. Needs to be quick. He's running out of people to transfer off, get some damage out, and they will snipe their way through the remainder of Freezer's forces, really making the most of that Demon Hunter synergy there. Very nice. And Kazensky immediately picks up that level two Shadow Fiend. Very effectively done. Really solid play here. Kazensky sits at 41. Frieza at 52. Poshiesny still pretty loaded, pretty carrying, doing a fantastic job so far. Dighted. Also hovering pretty healthily. He has 55 gold as well. 55, 50, and 53. Nice amount of gold for Sobaka. And we have Tezer and, of course, Kazensky. Sitting on all above 50 gold right now. Watch Yesni sitting on the lowest gold count of anyone in this game right now. We're going to keep on board with Kazensky as he has the lowest health right now as he will fight Sobaka. Blink Dagger onto the, onto the Terra Blade. Nearly kills Sniper. Sniper is pulled away by the hook but still dies. Terra Blade on the back line. Terra Fiend on the front line, but really nothing to protect him anymore. Cast cooldown's about to come up, but it's going to be too late. That savage damage, just too much to deal with, and that will be the kill. Sobika does some more damage to Kazensky. Really needs to get that, sh that Terra Blade leveled up as fast as possible. The Night Bonus, working out for the moment, but for how long will that continue? We'll have to see. Hamperton transforms, so a little bit of extra front line. A sneaky Arc Warden has appeared. All right, curiouser and curiouser. What do you intend to do with this, buddy? You're going to move his army up a bit? Filling out the front line. Focusing on two Potato, of course. He's got a good Pudge to absorb the damage from Tomato, but everything on else is focusing on two Potato. Pudge Hook, though. Disorientating the fight a little bit. Lion Potato to get some pretty serious damage off. Tomato gets blood, blood bound, but still taken out. Very nicely done. Quickly enough. A very good positioning. Because let's keep playing that very cleverly. Twisty defeated by Neutral Wave, as was Taser. Both taken out. No Yos, though. Very good, uh, very sportsman-like play here. Can you think of any other sport where someone misses the goal and you just go, Ha ha, you suck. There's no other sport like that. It's great. Level 8 for Taser and Sobika. Boshiesny, though, up to level 9, spending a little bit of money here. What's he looking for? He's got the friends and family discount and smuggler. Again, Boshiesny going heavy into the shopping items. Really getting himself into a good position right now in terms of the items and, of course, the heroes. Right now, his comp is actually pretty filled out right now. He can really fill it with just whatever he wants at this point and just see where it goes from there. Let's see. Oh, yes, he's going to be fighting Twist D right now. Here comes the Kunkka Ghost Ship. He's going to try and get some good CC. Immediately takes out the Alchemist. And this does look like it's going to be a pretty brutal victory by Poshiesny. There's a lot of tankiness coming in, though. It's kind of all down to this Trion Protection right now, who is on cooldown and will be sniped off, actually. Twist D with the kill. Kazensky hits level 8 as well. Popping up a little bit more mana there. And Poshiesny takes his first loss in quite a while. Second, I spectate him. Loses his win streak. He's on 13 and 2 right now. Twisty on 8 and 7. He's got that level 3 bounty hunter on the board, though. He's got scrappies. He's got knights. It's all over the place, which means if he's got these knights, biggest threat to him right now is Kazensky. And of course, that dawning of Ristol from Dighted. Dighted, of course, no healing heroes at all. No one heals out of this group. So really denying that value to everyone else who at least has a little healing value, including that health regen from the Scrappies. 
could be could be pretty good right now. Gonna be fighting Dighted. And here we go. This is it. This is it. This anti-healing Trion Protector just gets bodied. Can't even get this ability off, actually. It gets properly wrecked. Warlock's binding together, trying to stay alive right now. The Kunker ship was pretty solid. Drown Ranger in a very bad spot. Kunker ship comes in once again, stunning onto the back line, but it's too late at this point as the Plague Wards from the Venomancer are just too much, and they burn through. Another victory taken out. Oh, she has to. Still hovering around the top here. Kazenski though, beginning to drop quite low in health. We're going to jump onto Kazenski though. See if they can make the recovery. Combine the level 2 Terror Blade on the board finally. That's a big deal. That's a really big deal. Terror Blade is strong. But level 1 Terror Blade is not great. <laughs> He's managed to get himself a Terror Fiend as well. Trades it out for the Necrophos. He's just going double Terror Fiend. Re-centers his composition. He's going to be fighting Dighted. Let's see if this works. Going to try and burn his way through. Remember, his healing is reduced right now. Trying to force his way through. Terrafine 1, Terrafine 2. Damage output's good. Knights tanking the front line very effectively. And Terrorblade still alive. And Kazenski takes... Jesus, so many crits. Not enough, though. Rip Wolf. Kazenski takes out Dided. Good fight there. That double Terrafine working out very effectively here. Really doing better than I personally expected. Very well done. Doing a good job here. Six kills on this so far. Ten kills. Four kills. Ten kills. Really working his way through. Dieter got the Drow Ranger level two. There's that Warlock bonus. Disruptor and Alchemist. Sneaking their way onto the board. This is obviously not the full board. He has no room for these. He's just making room right now. Pumping stuff around. He needs to hurry up. He's going to keep out the Disruptor. Disruptor on the front line. So the Disruptor on the front line is an interesting thing. So the re argument behind it is I need mana, so I need it to be hit. The other argument is it might die before it does anything. In this case, it seems to be working out relatively well, taking a tiny amount of damage, which means Disruption will come down quite early onto the back line while Terrorblade's in there doing killer damage. And that's going to be a very good cleanup. Sobercut completely wiped here by Kazenski, who continues to hold onto life in this tournament. Zensky looking real good right now. Very effective. Going to be moving on to the neutral round as well a little bit later on. Sobika able to take out Poshiesny because he was a ghost fighting Kozenski. Poshiesny takes a little bit more damage. Has he dropped into the 70s yet? Yes, he has. Poshiesny, though, takes out Twisty. That's why no, he didn't. That's just the scoring. Sorry. Poshiesny looking good. He's picked up a Drow Ranger. Very strange lineup here. He's just got a sort of everything here. He's got that heartless... It's working out for him, though. Again, he's got that friends and family discount. He has very little money, though. He's sort of just relying on the fact he currently has the most health. Fraser has been sitting very very calmly as well. He's up to full night. So, again, his only real threat is Kazenski. Let's check out Fraser's composition right now. All those knights. Huge amounts of tankiness here. Going to be ignoring the hatchling except for the dragon knight. And yeah, they'll take this down. They're just two tankies. No way it can live. Very easy kill here. Kozenski also having no trouble. He's gone for double Witch Doctors here. Extra crowd control. Make it easier to finish off for now. Really just burns through the healing. Dighted also taking victory. Taser takes victory. Looks like everyone takes victory. Twisty takes a little bit longer. But they all get it done. Everyone takes them down. Check out the items they get. The Garden of Ristol, Dighted, has dropped very far down the board, but he still has that potential. Potential for greatness. Moonshard. Picked up by Dighted. Moonshard by Twist D. What else can they make use of? Refresher Orb for Poshiesny. Where's that going? If I had to guess on Kumka, but no one like him. Double Wolf. Okay. Very interesting. Armor onto Doom. He's got that nice little tank lineup. There we go. Refresher Orb onto Kunker. So the double wolves are interesting, but you don't actually get the value from the uh, the extra max health. You don't get that. You only get the wolves, uh, unfortunately. You don't get the full ability. You do, however, get double bow. So that is good. He's going to be finding Dighted here. 
We're not going to be watching that though, because we're going to actually let's watch it. Because we've got one that refresher orb. We want that refresher orb, Kunker. Let's go. Ding ding! The, f the hunters on the back line are getting boated all aboard the cruise, getting double stunned. Nice doom on the back line as well. You can see that big hunter back line really trying to tank through it, but it's F all you can do when the just sheer sustain of Fushy Esni's comp and the damage of that lichen burn through you. Kazenski takes out Taser and drops him down to 18. Kazenski again sitting right at the bottom of the table is holding himself in this game together. It's a level 3 Pudge on the board. But Kazenski really doing a good job right now. He's not out yet. Freezer got the level 3 looter. Feels good. What you got on that? What's the item? It's a Mask of Madness. Feels good. Mask of Madness or that Sacred Relic would be insane. But there's currently no one else to put the Mask of Madness on. So I can completely understand. Dropping it onto the Lunar. Let's let us watch on to Kurzensky here who is fighting Dighted. Here comes the cooldown because we do have a gyrocopter on the board and that cooldown just decimated Kurzensky. Is Kurzensky okay? 16 health currently is going to eat a lot of damage down to one health. Kurzensky still in the game right now. Biggest of oofs, Tazar also down to one health as well as the sudden appearance of Gyrocopter turns everything on its head. Level two, level two care, level two on the Terra Blade. He's fishing now. One health. Spend all your money, Kazenski. You gotta get into it. That sudden Gyrocopter appearance from Dighted has really turned this around. He's got Dead Eye as well. He's got the Dead Eye Alliance, meaning that they will always attack the lowest health enemy, burning through everything. We will be watching Kurzenski as he fights Freezer. Will Freezer eliminate Kurzenski? Down it goes. No, it's got the helm of the Undying as we do see the Disruptor Disable just for the time being. They try to force their way through. Pudge is just stun locked here, trying to keep it together. You can see the huge distraction from Puck with that Dragon Bonus, and we will see Kurzenski eliminated. Taser, he is going to survive for the moment. He will stay in it as he takes down Sobaka. And we do see Kazenski. I think Kazenski lived, actually. Did Kazenski have an Aegis? Kazenski did have an Aegis. Cheeky. Kazenski lives. He has one more chance. Taser survives. Kazenski survives. How do you turn this around? He's got a blink dagger now. Onto that disruptor. He's got two disruptors on the board while he fishes. Desperately trying to find that Terror Blade upgrade. Can he do it? He needs one more. He needs one more. Do you sell anything? Do you take that risk? It's now or never, dude. He sells stuff, but he can't find it. Let's see what he can do. He's against Twist D. Can Kazetsky stay in this game? Holds it together. Disruptor gets a really good static storm. Holding it together. Necrophos goes down. The bounty hunter in the back line is going to take out the Shadow Shaman. But is it enough? The Witch Doctor, sorry. As we do see the damage coming out. But it's only a level 2 on that Terra Blade. He does a lot of damage. But it's too much. And that will be Kazenski dropping out in 8th place. Twisty taking him out. Taser survives again. Taking out Boshi Yesti and knocking him down to 18 health. Dropping him down. Kazensi Sobaka also eliminated during this. Kazensi actually finishing in sixth position. As so Sobaka dropped out first. We are down to our final five, ladies and gentlemen. The next person to be eliminated will not be going through to the next round. Any, If you can survive one more person, you are on to the next round. That's all anyone in this group has to do. Freezer currently at first, Twist D, Bossiesni dighted, and Taser on one health. Big Dino's loot round coming in. Let's see if anyone can win this one out. Let's check out Freezer here. The healing's good. Damage is also really good. The front Dino gets taken out. It looks like Freezer will be fine in taking this down. Good damage as well, but no more units left for Twisty. He will fail. Poshiesni also failing with no more units remaining. Down goes Dighted. Taser is able to succeed. Only Freezer and Taser. Able to take down the neutral wave. They keep it together though. They're still alive. That's a refresher orb. Daedalus Moon Shard. Everyone's ready. Everyone's dropping out. Black King Bar for Taser. 
Where you put in that? He's got double blink daggers. Black King Bar onto Kumka. Completely magic immune for seven seconds. Places him a little bit further back. Keeps him safe. Gotta keep that Kumka alive. He's level two as well. Could be the saving grace right now. Dighted also in that very risky position. He's got that gyrocopter a little bit far forward for my liking. I'd maybe put it right at the back here. Keep it safe. And of course, he should really be centering this Drow Ranger to make sure that the maximum amount of heroes possible get that buff. Is it going to be enough? As right now, we see the focus cooldown coming in. It's good damage, but it's not going to be enough. The tanking is too much as Twist D will be being taken out right now. But can Tazer hold on against Twist D? Yes, he can. Tazer lives. Twist D might be in trouble. Sorry, Dighted might be in trouble. No, Dighted wins, actually. Takes out Twist D. I am surprised. Prize freezes on a seven round win streak, and it is Poshiesni who goes out in fifth. Poshiesni down, and he is taken out. He will not be moving on to the next round. Our next round, we will have Freezer, Twisty, Dighted, and Taser moving on. Poshiesni, he was doing so well at the start, but his late game unable to hold up to the rest of the teams. GG, Poshiesni, thank you very much for the help, and GG's. I hope to see you in the next cup. As we do now see the next teams grouping up. Level 3 Chaos Knight for Twisty. Got that big frontline value. Let's see what he can do. He's going to go up against Freezer. Seven round win streak for Freezer right now. Let's see what he can do. It's a level 2 Dragon Knight. Chaos Knight also again. Level 3 doing an insane amount of damage. But oh my god, it's devastating. Freezer just destroying the frontline. Backline's a little safe, does a little bit of damage with the Bounty Hunter, but it's nowhere near enough. And that is a devastating defeat for Twist D, as Freezer annihilates him here. Twist D dropping out. Taser eliminated in fourth place. Twist D barely survives with seven health remaining. We will keep going on Twist D, but either one of these, Dighted or Twist D, could both be taken out at any stage now by Freezer, who has easy enough damage and a and pressure on the board to take it down. See you later, Kozinski. Thank you very much. Feels, g feels good. I'm, gl I'm glad you did well. Best of luck next week. Hope you hope you come back. That's a level 3 Chaos Knight for Freezer as well. Feels good. Dice it on the board. Let's go. They move forward. Good pressure coming in against Dighted. The anti-healing of Dighted might come into effect here on some of these inventors of these scrappies, but the damage output is huge. Dighted, the healing is irrelevant when your shit's dead, boy, as we see Dighted completely eliminated. Dighted down. Feels good. Eliminated completely. We're down to Twist D. And Freezer. Freezer at 42. He is on... He's not on a win streak because he lost a round recently. He's got a lot of bat riders in his hand. A lot of stuff. Level 3 Luna. Level 3 Chaos Knight. He's got that Knight bonus. There's no Demon Hunters. He doesn't have that true damage. There's no Enigma. No true damage available. Twist D calls GG. He feels confident. Let's check out Freezer for those damage numbers. Luna... With a Mask of Madness, level 3 Luna with a Mask of Madness. Dragon Knight with a Sacred Relic. There's a lot of damage output coming out, but Luna cleans up here. Dragon Knight, crazy damage output too. And that is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. GG for this round. That is going to be Freezer taking this round. He will be moving on. You finished the win streak. That's it. My bad. I thought I still kept track of it, but you're right. Alrighty, Freezer moves on to the next round. Congratulations, Freezer. Twist D, Dr Dr uh, Dighted, and Taser will also be moving on as well. Feels good. Congrats. Congrats to Freezer. Moving on. We do unfortunately say goodbye to Poshiesny and Kurzensky.